Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 266. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IBPS, etc. I'm Ritvisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which of the following stock exchange of India was the first to admit the overseas shareholders? Correct answer is NSE. Now what is the NSE? The NSE is the National Stock Exchange of India Limited and is the leading stock exchange of India located in Mumbai. The NSE was established in 1992 as the first demutualized electronic exchange in the country. Through open market operations, RBI plays a very important role in which of the following markets? Correct answer is gilt-edged market. So the RBI is a, a major player in this market. And what are gilt-edged markets? So these are markets for gilt-edged securities. These are high-quality debt securities with very high credit worthiness issued by corporates or governments and hence they are named such. The probability of the organization defaulting on interest and principal repayment is very low. So this is a very secure market. Which are the three pillars of Basel II? Correct answer is minimum capital requirement, supervisory review and market discipline. So Basel II uses a three pillar concept. The first being minimal, minimal capital requirements, which means there's a, a, a risk that is being addressed. The uh, second one is supervisory review. And uh, the third one is market discipline. So Basel I accord dealt with only parts of each of these pillars. In Basel II, it was increased. Their scope was increased. RBI uses which of the following methods to prevent speculative hoarding of essential commodities and check undue rise in price of commodities? Correct answer here is selective credit controls. So selective credit control refers to qualitative method of credit control by the central bank of any country. The method aims, unlike general or quantitative methods, at regulation of credit taken for specific purposes or branches of economic activity. Fiat money and near money can be correctly matched with what? Fiat money with legal tender and uh, near money with call money. So what is fiat money? Fiat money is a currency without intrinsic value that has been established as money often by government regulations. Fiat money does not have a use value and has value only because a government maintains its value or because parties engaging in exchange agree on its value. So, uh, uh, quite an example would be uh, our day-to-day -day currency. It's just paper, right? It doesn't have much value. But the only reason we have value, any note is worth something, is because the government deems it to be a legal tender. Similarly, near money is term used in economics to describe highly liquid assets, which are not cash, but can be uh, easily converted into cash. For example, gold. Which among the following is an example of intermediate goods? Correct answer is coal used in factory. So intermediate goods or producer goods or semi-finished products are goods which are partly finished goods and used as inputs in production of other goods. So coal in a factory can be uh, used as fuel, it can uh, to create something else or can be used as fuel to generate electricity in which case the final product is electricity. So coal becomes your intermediate goods. Which among the following is a variable cost? Correct answer is labor. So variable costs are costs that change as the quantity of the good or service that a business provides or produces changes. Example of common variable costs include raw material, packaging, labor, which is directly involved in a company's manufacturing process. So labor will change according to the needs. Like if there's an inflation in the market, labor costs might rise, the employees might uh, ask for a raise. All of these are variable. So you cannot foresee it. It depends on many factors. Pollution caused by a factory comes under which of the following category? So this comes under social cost. Social cost is neoclassical economics and it is the sum of the private cost resulting from a transaction and the costs imposed on the consumer as a consequence of being exposed to the transaction for which they are not compensated or charged. In other words, it is the sum of personal and external costs. So pollution is a personal cost that the consumer did not pay for or is not compensated for. So if a factory say uh, pollutes the nearby lake, people who are buying products of the factory, they paid for the products and the company didn't pay them back for whatever harm that pollution may do to them. So it is a social cost. Which among the following is known for a FBTR or fast breeder test reactor? Correct answer is Kalpakam. 
So the fast breeder test reactor is a breeder reactor located in Kalpakkam in India. The Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research and Bhabha Atomic Research Center jointly designed, constructed and operated that reactor. The atomic weight of chlorine is 35. It consists of what? It consists of 17 protons and 18 neutrons. An atom is composed of protons, neutrons and electrons. Electrons have negligible weight. As a result, only weight of the protons and neutrons is considered. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.